All right, so I just made this last frame where I started hoovering up the actual landscape. And I like it, except I don't like this, this free floating like half raspberry. So what can I do? I can do a little internal compositing or just, let's see, deselect, delete. And now on top of this one, where is it? There it is. I'm going to copy this raspberry, duplicate it onto a new layer, and move that up and part of this one. And I can move it over the top of that arm if I need to as well. Now, I don't want you to be too worried about little details like that in your animation. But where I just want you to know how to control each thing. So now if that works better, I'm going to replace that frame. So I'm going to say option layer merge visible. Then command A to select all command C to copy it all command V to paste it in. But now I'm going to get rid of the frame before, delete it. So it goes from this to this. Right. And now we're just amping it up, amping up the chaos of all this stuff getting sucked in. So I'm going to turn off the licorice. Now the licorice are gone. And now I'm going to make a duplicate of that background. And I'm going to warp it like keep kind of sucking it in and lifting it up and out just like I did with the licorice. So now we're just going to have a corner of that. That waffle. And if I want to cut it out a little bit, remember this is on a duplicate, I can get a slightly better cut out. I don't want those kind of artificial hard edges. And then my raspberry here, got to find that. It's up above the arm. Well, that's not it. It's a problem with atmosphere layers. Your layer select will always choose those. There it is. I'm going to duplicate that, turn the one off under it. So we're just making so many layers. Turn off auto select or you'll get in trouble. And the waffles. It's kind of sucked in like that. And now what else is going to move in? Let's start moving those rocks. To find those assets. So maybe these rocks first. And maybe I move those up and in front. And they start moving. And the rocks behind it, these ones, these start tilting, shifting behind. And then this little patch I don't need anymore. So everything's moving quick, getting in. I want to play with that atmosphere, even though there's a lot more going on. Always making sure that that's varied a little bit. Okay, 
I go to my topmost layer, option, layer, merge visible. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it, Command V to paste it in on my stage and make sure it goes above my last frame. Okay, good time for a quick animation test. I'm gonna save my work because I'm basically to this point now, more than halfway through, that all's getting sucked in, even though there's still quite a few frames. And that's taken me about 14 frames to do, a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna make frames from layers, I'm gonna move the white background frame to the trash, hold down shift, click all the frames, set the timing to 0.3, say okay, and then play it through. Yep, it's hoovering pretty good. Okay, fun. Now before I continue, I have to select all the frames, move them down to the trash. Otherwise, it can mess up the layers I already have. Then Command D, delete that. What can I get rid of? I can get rid of the waffle layer. It's gone. These rocks. Oh, I can get rid of that raspberry. It's gone. These rocks get to go down the gullet. So make a duplicate. Command T, shrink them a little, rotate them. Down the gullet, turn the one behind it off. The other rocks, wrong layer. Oh, I've got an extra arm showing. So I can turn that off now. Make sure I didn't have two arms showing here. Good, I didn't. The rocks are covering it up. I might want to sharpen that arm. So I'll use my sharpen tool. Sharpen it up. As he's clearing the air, more is getting clearly in front or revealing the character more and more. Not a bad thing. Okay. Now, other rocks. Where are you? Duplicate. Move. Like that color. Gonna move it up in front. And then the rocks behind. I wonder if I can just get away with having those all just sucked up. Okay. Now, cotton candy. Duplicate. Command T. Warp. It's all going to get funneled in. Move it up above. And then I can use my soft eraser for the cotton candy. Trying to use my time well. And I'll just use the cotton candy to kind of start disturbing the environment here. Cotton candy clouds that are starting to get sucked up into his mouth. So from this to this, that seems a little much. So maybe I stop on the cotton candy. So things make sense. I have to turn on this still though. Okay. But maybe I start to shift this a little bit. So let's make a duplicate and just warp it a little. So 
starts to get sucked in. Whew. And then even the mountains start shaking those mountains from their firmament. Always on a duplicate. Sink it down. All right, I think this will be my next frame. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Select All, Command C, Command V. Let's try it again. Command C, <laughs> Command V. There we go. Okay, and then you just have to trust your process. So I can get rid of the rocks now. I can start to suck this thing up, this goopy mask I had. So let's just warp it. Just slurp it up. It's nice to have a foreground thing. <laughs> Syrup on a plate. Revealing his hand. Let's get those mountains. You can see them shake a little bit, but it's hard to tell, right? So it's prepping for the next step. The cotton candy, everything, as much as I can start moving into the mouth, I want to. Not, not that. Maybe I want to layer that on top of the slurping. And the mountains. Start shrinking, toppling, and to make them, I'm going to push them in on top of the stuff a little bit. And the other one, duplicate. And T, start rolling it in, pouring it into the mouth. Push it up on top. Oh, I liked it better. Because these are duplicates, you can alter them any way you think helps your animation, like cutting away from them, layering them in different ways. Everything's going into the mouth. <laughs> and then even the stuff behind him. Let's 
was that last mountain from? 